Hello students, welcome to the YouTube channel, Return of AC Education. In this session, you are going to learn Chapter 6, Hypertext Preprocessor, PHP. Content of the session is Conditional Statements. There are four types of conditional statements in PHP. If statement, if else statement, if else if, if else if else statement, switch statement. We'll see one by one. First of all, what does conditional statements? Conditional statements are useful for writing decision making logics. It is most important feature of many programming languages including PHP. That means as we learned functions, the term function is common for all the programming language. Same, the conditional statements like if, if else, if else, if else, switch. The working principle is same for all the programming languages. Only the syntax is going to be changed. Why there is a need for conditional statement? As we know, program is a set of lines. As we execute the line one by one, there arises a situation to check a condition, then we need to uh, set the output based on the condition. For example, in a student report, we have to check whether the student has taken the minimum pass mark in all the six subjects. Then only we can say that the student has passed. So, there may be many situations like we have, we need to check one condition or two conditions or more than two conditions. So, here they are providing four types of conditional statements. Then we will learn all the syntax and one example program for all the four. As a programmer, we have to decide where the statement should be used. That is our talent. So first, we will see what does if statement. If statement executes a statement or a group of statements, if a specific condition is satisfied as per the user expectation. That, that means here there will be only one condition. If within the bracket I have to say the condition. If the condition is true, it will execute the statements which is inside the open curly brace and close curly brace. This is said to be if block. One condition will be there. If the condition is true, the statement within this block will be executed. That's all. But if the condition gets failed, what the program has to do? It is not mentioned here. So, when the situation arises like, if the condition is true, I need one type of output. If the condition is false, I need another type of output. So, we are switching to if else. So, if statement executes a statement or group of statement, if a specific condition is satisfied by the user expectation, when the condition gets false, that means if the condition is failed, the else block is executed. Simply, there will be one condition. If the condition is true, if block is executed. If the condition is false, else block is executed. So, we have to decide whether our program requires two types of output or only one type. Based on that, we have to select the structure. If else, if else. It's a combination of if else statement. More than one statement can be execute the condition based on the user needs. This is used when there is a situation to check more than one condition. If condition 1, else if condition 2, I can have any number of else if in this structure. I can increase this else if many times, many number of things, many number of times. The else part is if all the conditions present in the if else if if else if else for example think that there are 900 conditions if all the 100 conditions are failed then there should be output that out should be output should be in the else part is it clear if else if if one condition else if second condition i can have any number of else if so i can have another else if block I can keep on moving like that. But if there is a situation that all the given conditions are false, then there must be an output. That is a, a good programming style. So here we have to use the else part 
to say the output if all the conditions are false. Next, switch. Switch statement is used to perform different actions based on different conditions. Switch within the bracket, I have to say the value. Case, the value, what is here is given and break. This is the structure for the switch. More or less the if, else if, else and the switch are same. Only difference is in the structure. Some developers or the, some programmers like switch statement. Some programmers will like if, else, if, else statement. It depends upon the programmer state. He can use whether switch or if, else, if statement. Now we will see the example for all the four statements. So as you know, you have to start the exam. Then first we will see if, else. Sorry, if. Then if else. So we will take a if statement. I have saved the file because to save the time. So there are two variables. Pass mark 35. Student mark 70. The condition is if student mark is greater than the pass mark. Then the output is student is eligible for promotion. So how to execute. As you know, we have to take the browser, type http colon double slash localhost slash then the program name with the extension dot php. The student is eligible for promotion because the given number is 70. If we change the number Change the number and we'll check. Change is 20. As the program says, if the condition is true, one output. If the condition is false, no output. So here also no output because here the condition is false. As there is no instruction for that, the program didn't display any output. So we are moving to the next part. If else if. So here is a program with the if, else if. So if part is student is eligible for promotion. Else part is the student is not eligible for the promotion. So now execute the program. If, else if statement dot php. So the student is eligible for promotion as the number is 70. So we will change the student mark. Now the student is under the pass mark. But here we will get the output because this program is having the else part. So the student is not eligible for the promotion. Is it clear children? If else, if the condition is true, if block is executed. If the condition is false, else block is executed. That is the use of if else statement. Now we will see what is if else if else. We can check more than one condition. Pass mark is 35, first mark is, first class is for 60, the student mark is 70. So we are checking whether the student mark is greater than the first mark means, I have to, first class means I have to say student is eligible for the promotion with first class. If the student mark is only greater than pass mark, but that is less than 70 means it, it should uh, say as eligible for promotion. If it is less than the uh, 35, then it will say the student is not eligible for the promotion. Here the number is 70. It is more than the first class. So it will say the student is eligible for the promotion with first class. If else if statement. The output is the student is eligible for the promotion with first class. Because the student mark is 70. Now we will change the student mark. No, just you change to 50. Now change to 15. 
it is pass mark but not the first class it is not more than the first class so what the uh, output will be first if condition is false so second if else condition is true so the output is eligible for promotion because student mark is greater than pass mark but this condition is false so it moving to the second condition now we change the number to 20 so first condition is false second condition condition also false so it will go to the else part so it will say the student is not eligible for promotion because the number is 30 less than the pass mark. Is it clear children? So we have seen if, if, else, if, else, if, else statement. This is a switch statement. So here dollar favor red red oh, one value red is given switch dollar favorite color case red that means first condition is red second condition is blue third condition is green if all the three are failed then it has to move to the default so instead of if else if else if we are using case like that case is a keyword here red as it is a string it is within double quotes your favorite color is red your favorite color is blue if it is green your favorite color is green if it is not among the three colors your favorite color is neither red blue nor green this is the program statement here can you see the break each case is having a break the only uh, difference between the if else if and switches switch requires break for each case if we didn't give the break because it is in comment can you see the output it will execute all the things as red is true after the true condition it it will execute all the cases as it is not having the break so the usage of break in switch case is very important now we'll uh, remove the comment from the break now see the output as the given is red output is red if we change the color output also gets changed now see the output it is green if we give a color which is not in the case that means red blue green apart from that I am giving a color as yellow can you see the result of default statement? So this is the use of switch. If else if else is more or less equal to switch case. So the developer has to decide whether he or she want switch or if else if statement. So I hope you have understood all the uh, four conditional statements. So if, if else if else if else switch if only one condition is given one output if else one condition is given but two output as the condition is true one output condition is false another output if else if else it can check any number of conditions based on that output will be given switch same it can have any number of conditions based on the condition the output is given if else and switch both are same only the structure differs in switch break is very important thank you for watching this video if you like this video subscribe this channel to watch the upcoming videos thank you have a good day